Hi guys, so I wanted to um, go through very quickly how to work through your workbook or your weekly assignments and how um, the PDF files work, how you're going to use your workbook and then use the PDF files in conjunction with that and how to format them appropriately. Okay, so first thing first, you're going to log into your course, go to your modules tab, um, and let's go down and find an assignment. Let's go to the week two assignment, which I believe is chapter one. You want to read the directions, that's important. Um, and then uh, go down to the bottom and find the link to the homework assignment, which is the PDF file there. So you want to click that so that you can download it. Let's try this. Oh, there we go. Okay, so here you have the option to save it and we will do this. This is what I want you to do. I want you to save it with the last name. Oh, you can see I've done this before. Underscore and then chapter number. And that is how I would like for you to save your um, assignments every week by file name so that it's easier for me if they get lost in the Canvas world somewhere. It's easier for me to find out who they belong to and what they are for. All right, so once you get your down, your template downloaded, then you see it pops up and here we go. So this is the part where you really want to read the directions because it tells you to only work through the problems that are listed here in the template. I do not assign all of the problems throughout the chapter um, for the textbook. And so you're going to grab your book uh, here. Let me see if I can make this guy any bigger. Here we go. So your workbook that goes with your book. Let me flip to chapter one. So you'll see that uh, the first part of the section for chapter one is tissues, or excuse me, word definitions. And so basically, uh, you can write them in here in your textbook also if you want to. That's up to you. It's your book. You bought it. Um, if you plan on trying to sell your um, books, then you probably don't want to write in the workbooks. If you want to keep them to study from later on, then you know you can write the answers in here as well and then transfer them to the PDF. So here are all of the problems that you're going to follow along. And then the same thing over here as well you know, page after page. There are some chapters where there are labeling exercises for you to do, um, fill in the blanks for you to do, and so you will then um, follow the template and answer the questions. You do not need to type the question, you do not need to type the term, all you need to do is write in the answer here. And so if you use the PDF forms um, as they are intended, then you just type in the answers. So adipose is fat tissue. Uh, alopecia is balding. So that's kind of what I want you to do there. Now you can also print these templates and handwrite them in, but then that would require you to scan them, save them, and then upload them to the um, submission link. So it seems like a whole lot more work um, overdoing it this way, but you can do that if you prefer to handwrite them. So that's how your um, templates work. And that's kind of it. So uh, on the fill in the blank pages, let me show you, let me make this guy a little bit bigger. So on the fill in the blank pages, you'll see that there are, um, let me move this out of the way. So for number one, here, there are two blanks, number one on the template, two blanks up here. So number th two, there's only one blank, and number two only has one blank. So that's basically how your templates work. Now once you're all done with that, then you would save them and um, then you would upload them to your submissions link, which is in the exact same spot down at the bottom where um, once it's available to you, you would then upload it um, in PDF file format where you downloaded the submission from, or excuse me, the uh, template from. So that's it. If you guys have questions, let me know.